Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome to another LEGO Disney review. So today we're going to be looking at set number 43184, Raya and Sisu Dragon. This set includes 216 pieces and retails for $29.99 in the US when it came out back on March 1st of 2021. Now why should you watch this review? Well, I plan on watching the movie while I build this set, I just have to record my opening part of course in the beginning, but I hope to talk about the movie while I discuss my thoughts on this set and if it is accurate to the source material or not. Originally I didn't think that I would be buying this set and also like the price per piece for this definitely shows the Disney tax and you know the size of the box compared to other $30 sets that you see from other themes, though definitely you have to think that that there are a few new molds and prints I think in this set. I'm not sure if those are prints or stickers for some of those things that you see around but we'll take a look at it in due course. Looking at the box art right off the bat I do like some of the color schemes going on right here. A lot of like the darker greens being used and we also do get your logo of Disney, Rhea, and the Last Dragon at the bottom. Like I said I will be watching that while I build this set so this video will contain spoilers later on. We get your choking hazard regular stuff off the side logo at the the top like I said just main picture going on from the front of the box from the very back you get a look at the two other sets that you can get well actually the one other set because for some reason it doesn't show the other one it shows the same exact set here but whatever that's fine for what it is get your push tabs also from the side which is fine I guess for this size of a box top of the box features the actual size of your minifigure right there and also just showcasing the two characters that you get in this set Sides of the box feature your choking hazards, instructions, plus advertisement. Other side of the box features the price for this because I did end up getting this at Barnes & Noble instead of the Lego store so I did get my 10% off which is another very nice bonus and I also didn't actually buy this. My brother got it for me for my birthday which is another also very nice bonus for this set. And then the very bottom features your Lego trademarks and barcode for this set. So yeah that's all for the box so let's take a look at the box contents. Taking a quick look at the box contents, we get a total of two numbered bags to build this set. In addition to two instruction manuals, I believe that might be for both of the bags separately. And we also get a sticker sheet in the set, one loose piece being the head of the Sisu Dragon. And then finally this, which is probably one of the more interesting things included this more like metallic paper material that we also use for the Sisu Dragon. So that's also pretty cool. And I also like the metallic look for that. You know, we'll have to see how that actually works out in the end. But either way, let's take a quick look at our stickers and instructions. Taking a quick look at the stickers, unfortunately it looks like those palace wall pieces don't have prints but they're stickers which is fine I guess for what it is, you know. I bet that they also reuse these same sort of styles for like the actual bigger palace part, I'm not sure but either way, very nice sticker sheet to add some extra details, we'll take a better look at those on the parts later. We also get two instruction manuals in the set, looking at the first one we get your QR code for the LEGO Life app, we also mimic the front of the box for both of these. Well, actually, the second one only has the palace on it. Very back features the Win Friends character, who I don't know the name of, but we're going to flip right open to a quick advertisement for all of the Raya and the Last Dragon sets, minus the poly bag. Out of these, you know, I think the other two look very nice, though they are quite expensive due to, like, the Disney tax on these sets. But either way, you know, I did end up buying one of these just to review alongside watching the movie. For the second instructions, we get a look at the palace build right there which is probably bag two very back gets an advertisement for rebuild the world and you can flip right open to the piece count for a total of two pages right there and then we get the final overall model or maybe some more advertisements right there we get our little advertisement for dot series three actually now that i remember this came out in january all of that and also this the birthday surprise things then we get a quick advertisement for the march sets for lego friends more of a vet sub theme going on there and then we flip right open to another advertisement for the storybook adventures. Three of these are from January of 2020 and then one of these being the one based off Frozen 2. I'm not sure which one that is. One of these two is the one that released earlier on in January. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for the instructions. So let's take a look at our characters and the final overall model. So looking at the one and only mini doll included, we have Raya herself. 
Now this version of our character is not exclusive, also coming within the Raya and the Ongi poly bag which will be releasing sometime hopefully at a retailer or if not a gift with purchase. But putting all of that aside, I think that our character turned out fine here, you know, I definitely would prefer minifigures compared to mini dolls as I always say, but I think that they did a very nice job capturing her look. We do get some dual molding for those legs right there with the skin tone and then also the olive green. We get some printing from the very front of the body right there, more of the flesh tone showing for the arms. You can also take a look at the back printing for her character if you remove the hair piece. There's a quick look at that if you are interested. And then we get one of those regular friend style facial expressions. I'm not sure if that's exclusive or not. You know, I don't really feel like it captures her character very well. You know, that's just really all that I have to say for that. But definitely the hair hat combo is definitely the star of this character other than the accessory right there. And they definitely can reuse that on a minifigure if they do eventually make one, like maybe in a CMF or something. But I think that that hair hat combo is definitely something really amazing. And I would also like to see them put that in Ninjago maybe, you know. That's definitely another place that they could pop that hair hat combo right there. And also like the detailing on the hat I think is just very nice if you look at like the molding on that looks very, very nice. And finally, along with our character, we also get this accessory of this sword piece, which is supposed to be like a chain sword within the film where it actually moves out to become like this sword that's connected by a chain. Not really too sure how that works, but you know, we do get one entire new mold for that inside this sand green color. Would be very nice if they actually dual molded this thing, but you know, I think it's fine for what it is. Another use that I definitely see with this, you know, now that I'm actually looking at it closely, is that you can actually change this to make it look like the Dark One dagger from Once Upon a Time. That's just the one thing that came to my mind looking at like the shaping of this and like the curving. So, you know, maybe, maybe I'll make a mock. With that, you know, we'll have to wait and see. If I do end up getting the poly bag, you know, that'll probably end up happening. But for now, you know, I'm just gonna keep it as is. Now, one of the even more cooler pieces included in the set is this printed 2x3 tile in red with the map of Kumandra. Now, this shows all of the tribes being Fang, Heart, Spine, Talon, and Tail, all united to form this giant landform over here, which also has like this water running to form what looks like a dragon, which, you know, we do get the Sisu dragon in this set. You know, would, would have been very nice if they actually gave us other dragons, but overall, I think that LEGO did a very nice job representing presenting that as a tile piece. And we also do get this in some of the other Raya sets, which I probably won't be getting, but you know, still pretty nice to see that they did actually make this printed piece. Another very nice reference included in the set is the Dragon Gem, which we actually get a duplicate of this piece, which, you know, is also just quite nice to get as a duplicate. I believe that these were introduced in Lego Dots, this particular piece, but very nice to get, very nice shine to it if you just take a look at that moving it around. If you haven't watched the movie, you're gonna have to watch it to know more about these, but this is the one and only weapon against the Droons. Also within the set we get Sisu herself which is the water dragon or at least all of the dragons in the film are the water dragon though technically Sisu is the one who can control all of the magical powers that all of the other dragons have at least that's the way that I took it when watching the movie. Overall I think that they did a very nice job capturing her. We do get a new head mold right here for this character which also uses the bottom half that you would have seen within like the Harry Potter dragons for like the Hungarian Horntail. So that's also pretty nice to see. You can also see the printing on it. Eh, color scheme for this is a little off when you look at the head and like the body and all of that. I mean, I do like that they did use a bunch of different colors just to separate some of these out. You know, would have been very nice to see these ball joint pieces come in other colors. I know I say it every time I see it not match with the source material, but you know, it's just something that LEGO will eventually have to do, hopefully. We also get these pieces, which I showed in the very beginning, like these more like paper quality pieces, which also have a very nice shine if you just take a look at that. Very cool to see that exclusive to this set. We get one that connects from underneath the neck and between these ball joints from the very back for the legs. And then we get one for the tail over here. Another thing that I did want to talk about are these pieces right here, like these tube pieces that we see for like the buildup of the body and also for like the very back of the tail, which leads to this piece. You know, these are some new pieces, I believe for 2021. I'm not really too sure, but you know, still 
overall very nice to see some like weird pieces that I normally probably wouldn't have gotten in any other sense that I would have normally bought so you know that's just a bonus over there. The build up for the legs I think are very nicely done you can just take a look at all of the different colored slope pieces these like different blues and then we get the clip piece connection for the very bottom of the feet and the ball joint connection for like the legs so then you can actually make these move back and forth which is also another very nice bonus right there you can do it from the very back as well which also have a different look compared to the front legs I do really like like the arches that they use just to make it like shaped differently compared to the front legs Lego did a very nice job with that aspect and also you can move the tail back and forth if you really want to and you can also turn the head back and forth so you know lots of posability with this I think Lego did a very nice job it is a little small you know that's really the only other thing that I do have to say it is like very thin and I don't like some of these dark gray and light gray colors being shown and especially from the very back with that I'm not really too much of a fan of those pieces being shown but they did what they had to do to get this build you know stable and the way that it should look and I think that Lego did what they could do and you know if they make this again in the future you know maybe I'll pick that up and do a comparison though otherwise like I said I am waiting on Lego to eventually decide to just drop the mini doll act and just start making minifigures for Lego Disney. And finally wrapping up my thoughts on this set, we have these two other smaller location builds that can combine with the Giant Heart Palace set that we also got in this Raya and the Last Dragon Wave. Starting off with this smaller build for this more waterfall look, you know, I think that this is a really nice build and it is actually accurate to the source material at least as far as I know. We get this waterfall area that you can actually walk through to pretend to actually get to the place where the dragon gem is. So I think that's a really Really nice reference to the movie overall. I do really love getting this waterfall piece which I don't think is new other than the fact that we do get more of like a sparkly look to it. We also get this sticker that I was debating on actually leaving off of this piece just because of how nice it looks without that sticker. We also get the Nexo Night Shield piece in that same color with the sparkles. I really love seeing that. We get the same sort of color scheme that you see for most of the Disney princess sets with that lighter blue and the gold and the white and I think that looks very nice you know they're pieces that I normally wouldn't get in my collection so I do appreciate that we do get an overall base that this is on and it is curved from the front I also really love that and that's a very nice and useful piece to get you get these pillars in this golden color you get some smaller details in these gems also right here including like some gems down here inside like these broken eggshell pieces which are also pretty nice to get we get the gold bar piece inside this tan color for these stepping stones in order to actually get Get to this area from over here which also has another very nice curved tile piece in that tan color which I also really like getting from the very back you can see that we do get one of these clip pieces in order to actually be able to like move up and down the waterfall in order to get your character from one side to the other do really like that as an extra little play feature and that is just some more technic building from that aspect you can see how that works so yeah that's all for the little waterfall area and finally we have this other part of the palace which we definitely know can connect to the giant palace due to this different type of clip piece from the very back that can connect to the rest of the palace pretty much this is supposed to be the front of the palace at least as far as I know we do get some nice stickers on these pieces right here just for some extra detailing showing like these dragons going on you can see it from both the top and the bottom same sort of situation from this side and we also get one of these very nice coral pieces and these leaves inside this purpley color which I don't know if those are exclusive to this set or not they might have came within one of the other previous waves but still pretty cool to see them inside that color yet again we get more of that white and that teal color going on more of that blue also from the very bottom we get some sand from the very bottom as well inside for the interior there really isn't anything too special we get a little candle build over here which uses the Harry Potter candle from back in 2018 and we get a sort of what I'd call a pensive just a goblet piece and then a plate on the very top of that you can put whatever you want in there I guess you can actually just put like the gem inside there which you know we do get an extra one you can just pop that right in there but in order to actually get the real gem which you know this is inaccurate to the actual movie you can remove this little area this clip piece and then you can slide right out this little present right here which you know it's very nice that they do reuse the present piece just with a sticker on the very top of that 2x2 tile piece and you can open that right up 
to reveal another one of those very nice dragon gems, at least that's what I like to call them due to the film, but LEGO just calls these regular gems, so you know, nothing really too special with that, but you know, very nice that we get a little bit of references to the actual movie. Now sliding that right back in, it is nicely hidden, it is actually pretty hard to get out if you put it in deep, and then you close it up with that clip piece connection, very nice and safe way to store that. So yeah, that's pretty much really all that I have to say. I do also really like getting this piece inside this teal color, that's a new piece I believe, at least as far as I know, not a piece that I've seen too often, and I do really like the window from the top and just like the styling, I think LEGO did a very nice job with it. So overall for $30 I think that this set is a good deal for what it is. If you've seen the movie then you know that there are some accurate references in the set which I do really appreciate including that printed 2x3 tile which is definitely something that I really love that LEGO decided to include. I think the build for Sisu is very well done for what LEGO could have done. Like I said there are some problems when it comes to the colors of ball joints in a lot of sets. It's just something that LEGO will eventually have to hopefully fix. We all keep saying it hopefully they get to doing it sometime in the future a lot of very nice sticker details i do like these builds mainly because it does include pieces that you know i normally probably would not get in sets that i normally buy and another very nice bonus to this set is the fact that it can actually connect to another one within the wave so that's another really nice thing and that the minifigure or mini doll is exclusive as much as i love disney minifigures this just isn't the set for that Hopefully we'll see Raya return in a CMF sometime in the future, or if LEGO eventually decides to give us an actual set line of regular Disney minifigure sets. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!